Since its incorporation as a nonprofit in 2005, literacy instruction has been the backbone of Fortress YDC's after school program. We spend a great deal of time on reading. Emerging readers enjoy buddy reading with volunteers. Our elementary students spend 40 minutes each afternoon in our state of the art reading lab and story time is a favorite for all ages. The Reading Lab at Fortress has historically done an excellent job of helping struggling readers come up to grade level. For the first 10 years of our program, we saw an average grade level increase each year of one and a half grades in instructional reading, significant in a demographic where kids tend to fall behind by a half grade level each year. On the left, this graph shows the average increase our kids gained in instructional reading levels by year. Gains have consistently been between one and one and a half grade levels each year with two notable exceptions. In 2008, students gained an average three grade levels in one year. And this past year, 2017, they only gained 0.7. This might look like we've suddenly stopped being successful in helping kids read on grade level. But before we jump to that conclusion, let's look at another trend. The graph on the right shows the number of students using our reading software each year. We began by serving primarily middle and high school students. In 2008, our focus shifted downward to younger students. The resulting spike in the number of students using the software also corresponds with the most significant gains in reading levels. In 2012, we continued the trend of serving younger students, this time adding first and second graders, and saw another spike in the number of students using the software. And then finally, in 2015, Staying true to the research that shows that early invention is key, we made the reading lab available for pre-K and kindergarten students. The drop shown in the number of students using the software is because testing does not begin until kindergarten, so we don't record data for pre-K students. In the past couple of years, we began to realize that our kids were not achieving the average one and a half grade level increase, which had been our benchmark for so long. Both of these graphs show those first four years we just talked about, plus the most recent year, 2017. You can see on both of them that 2017 was an exceptional year in that the majority of our kids, nearly 70%, gained less than one grade level in reading. Again, you'd think we were then missing the mark. We're not. You might have heard the buzz this past year that Fort Worth has a low literacy epidemic on its hands. A mere 30% of Fort Worth ISD's third graders were reading on grade level last year. That means that 70% of our city's third graders are not reading on grade level. This is staggering because research shows that kids who are behind in the third grade are four times more likely to drop out of school before graduating. They are also more likely to engage in risky behaviors such as substance abuse, teen pregnancy, and gang involvement. This is because in the third grade, children stop learning how to read and begin applying what they're reading. Students who are behind will begin to fall further and further behind with little chance of catching up. Low academic performance leads to lack of interest, a desire to mask the low literacy with behavioral issues, and then the risky behaviors begin. Visit www.readfortworth.org to learn more. By comparison, Fortress After School has graduated 34 third graders in the last four years, and 80% of them have been reading at or above grade level at the end of third grade. In fact, on average, our third graders are reading at a 4.55 grade level, and the median grade level is 4.45. This means that our third graders are, on average, a half a grade level ahead of where they need to be at the end of third grade. An interesting aside is that out of the seven kids reading below grade level in our third grade, four of them had only been in our program for one year. They were also the only kids who tested below grade level as second graders. So why are students at Fortress showing success in third grade reading levels if our yearly gains have dropped so much? The obvious answer is that our students have fewer gains to make than they once did. That success rests on the shoulders of early intervention. When we began focusing on literacy with our youngest students, we found that we needed to spend less time catching them up later. In fact, 
The data shows that on average, our kids are already reading a full grade level ahead by the time they finish first grade, as shown on the graph on the left. And they stay ahead. You can see in these charts that although the growth slows down by third grade, the early focus on literacy is setting our kids up for success from the very start. This also means we need a new way to engage our kids from third grade and on. We are thrilled to begin using iStation software in our reading and math labs starting this school year, 2017. While the software we've used for 10 years was instrumental in helping us develop a strong literacy program for at-risk readers at Fortress, it lacks the ability to engage proficient readers. From the student's viewpoint, iStation offers relevant, engaging games that provide crucial intervention for our emerging and struggling readers, but it also appeals to those students who are ready to develop critical and creative thinking skills. From an educator's viewpoint, iStation provides valuable reports and data that correlate with Texas education standards. Since our local elementary school also uses iStation, sharing data will be a breeze. And more importantly, our Fortress staff and the school's teachers will be able to use that data when needed, working together to develop plans that benefit each individual student. But we still want to do more, and that's where you come in. How can you get involved with literacy at Fortress? How can you make reading come alive for our students? In the spring of 2016, we partnered with Performing Arts Fort Worth, the folks who manage Bass Hall, to bring the classic children's book, Matilda, to life. After a six-week group study of the book, with books and curriculum provided by Performing Arts Fort Worth, our fourth and fifth graders were treated to a live performance of Matilda on stage at Bass Hall. There are other ways that you can bring ideas to life through reading. Consider ideas that you might have that use STEM, cooking, history, social studies, creative writing. Where can you plug in? How can you get involved? How can you make reading come alive for our students? Visit our website and apply to be a volunteer. We'll supply the books.